Hello, my name is Robert L. Jacobson, and I am a board-certified maternal fetal medicine specialist with Atlanta Perinatal Associates. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about HIV disease and pregnancy. HIV disease is a condition caused by a retrovirus that can be transmitted to your fetus in utero or at the time of labor and delivery and we now have ways to interrupt that transmission. Initially, AZT was the only medication used and was able to decrease the transmission rate from 27% down to about 9%. Since that time, we have discovered that with the use of HAART, or highly active antiretroviral therapy, we can further reduce the transmission rate to 1 to 2 percent. Patients may transmit the disease to their fetuses in utero in about 30 percent of the cases, but 70 percent of the cases occur at the time of labor and delivery. And so means of interrupting that transmission became very, very important. We now know that by the use of HIV RNA titers, that patients with a titer less than 1,000 may deliver vaginally without any increased risk of transmission to their fetus, providing that they receive AZT during labor. For patients whose titers are greater than 1,000, delivery by cesarean section is recommended. Babies born afterwards would receive AZT for the first six weeks of life and we have had tremendous results with reducing transmission to 1 to 2 percent. Patients who do receive highly active antiretroviral therapy should be followed by a maternal fetal medicine specialist. Ultrasounds every four weeks are performed in order to assess fetal growth and weekly antepartum surveillance beginning at approximately 32 weeks should be performed in order to ensure that the baby is doing well. Typically, we perform a test called a biophysical profile, which looks at four items on ultrasound, movement, tone, fetal breathing movements. Yes, babies do breathe inside, but not the same way we do. They receive their oxygen through the umbilical cord. Amniotic fluid, and we will also place you on the monitor and look at the baby's heart rate in relation to movement. As long as the fetal amniotic fluid is normal, one only needs four out of those five items for an excellent test. And with an excellent test, the chances of a baby dying inside is reduced to one in 1,000. We also recommend that CD4 counts, HIV RNA titers, CBCs, and liver functions tests be performed on a monthly basis through delivery. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. My name is Robert L. Jacobson, and I am a maternal fetal medicine specialist with Atlanta Perinatal Associates.